You probably wonder how I got here. It all started when... Ryan Garcia absolutely destroys his security guard, his security detail. A brand new leaked video courtesy of Boxing Ego and Ryan Garcia. So you've seen a snippet. That was Ryan Garcia, who should be training for the Devin Haney fight. Stay tuned to the end of this video. We'll talk about that. I'm going to play the full clip, as always, and then... After, we're going to watch it back with the Boxing Ego, a.k.a. Ego, a.k.a. Best in the Business, and it's not even close commentary. So right now, roll the clip. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to roll the clip. You're watching this entirety, then it's my commentary. Roll the clip. So for some odd reason, my security guard wants to do the Bobby Shot Challenge. Why? I don't know. I haven't done this in years, but it's about time that I bring it back. You know what to do. You know what to do. All right, let's go. You ready? Yeah. You really believe you can do this? Come on, bro. That's the last time you accept this channel. You good? Yeah. Alright, I got you. He's gonna pass out. No, you good. I got you. Again? <laughs> so Wow. Ryan, he put hands on his mans. What can I say? So now it's time for the boxing eagle commentary. Let's get it cracking so for some odd reason my security guard wants to do the bobby shot challenge why i don't know so when he said my security guard i don't know why i thought it was that big black dude when he ran up on devin haney at the super bowl radio row you know before i think the fight had just got announced i thought it was him i thought he was gonna do that with the big brolic black dude he talking about this dude so many questions i've never seen him Question number one, why is Ryan Garcia bigger than his security guards? <laughs> and like, not just bigger, because I've seen shorter security guards, but they like wild brolic and like wild, like Bolo Young, you know what I'm saying? You break my record, now I break you. Like I break your friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ryan actually just looks all around bigger than his security guard. So that's definitely question number one. Why are you bigger than your own security guard? Like, they dare to protect you. Question number two. Why did you just easily fold your security guard? Like, I'm not the smartest brother in the world, but I feel like you can't be my bodyguard or security guard if I can whip you, at, like, easily. Do you see what I'm saying? But to each his own. Like, that don't make sense. Like, how are you? To, like, imagine Bill Clinton, and he got, like, some Navy SEAL as his bodyguard or security or a secret service and Bill Clinton just sleeps the secret service agent. Like that would be weird. Now I done told you I did not have sexual relation with that woman. Like it, it doesn't make sense to me, but let's keep it right. My security guard wants to do the Bobby shot challenge. Why? I don't know. I haven't done this in years, but it's about time that I, See, the dude in the back, he bigger than the security guard, too. Like, he need to be the security guard. Bring it back. You know what to do. You know what to do. All right, let's go. You ready? Yeah. You really believe you can do this? Come on, bro. All right. Hey, yo, why Why did church music come on? What is that? He ha Damien. He ha Like, why did, why did that music come on right before? Like, is somebody playing it from a Bluetooth speaker? That is hilarious. And the other thing is kind of weird. Ryan Garcia, I know you got money, bro. 
But why would you do this body shield, body shot challenge indoors next to one of those fireplaces and next to the TV? I feel like you have a great chance of potentially breaking your TV by doing it right in front of the TV. But I just look at little things like that. Let's keep it rocking. You can do this? Come on, bro. This music is hilarious right now. Oh. Ah. Ah. Bro. I can't get over the Passion of Christ soundtrack and score by Mel Gibson and company being played as soon as he gets ready to do this. And then he starts whipping the ever-loving ish out of his man and security. The first hook, the first two hooks. Bravo, Ryan. Bravo. All right, let's go. You ready? You hear him. Yeah. You really believe you can do this? Come on, bro. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at his face. Look at his face. He getting whipped so crazy. <laughs> he getting beat. Look at his face. See, you don't play boxing. His facial expression, the guy getting hit, the security guy, is hilarious, bro. Like, look at him. He just, you know he farted right there. <laughs> you really believe you can do this? Bro, he made Ryan, he hit him so hard, his voice cracked. Ryan went through puberty. He want to go. He said, nah, he want to go. He's got a gun. Listen, listen to the voice crack. Ryan then turned to a, from a boy to a man with this body shot challenge. Listen to Ryan's voice crack. <laughs> he want to go. <laughs> He want to go. Nah, he want to go. Ugh. Bro, I don't know if that's a combination of puberty and Ryan was having that hoarse voice and maybe his voice is coming back. Bro, he sound like Prince. <laughs> he want to go. Nah, he want to go. He want to go. Nah, he want to go. That's the last time you accept this channel. He got my man on all fours, all bad. We good? Yeah. All right, bro, I got you. He's gonna pass out. Oh, you good? I got you. Oh, did he? <laughs> I don't know. What did he say? He pooped his pants. What did he say? I can't hear what he said. He's gonna pass out. Oh, did he? Or he said he passed out or something. I, I can't hear what he said. If y'all can hear that, listen. What he's he's saying something to Ryan Garcia. All right, bro, I got you. He's gonna pass out. Oh, did he? <laughs> he said I passed out for real. That's what it sounded like. The other thing that I'm noticing, Boxer Ego is noticing. Ryan Garcia looked big. He looked big. You know, he got a fight next month. He just looked bigger. You know, he's always had like kind of a taller frame, but it looks like in recent memory, he's been putting on some like more muscle. As he gets older. Because he used to be like real skinny, real wiry. Let me count how many hooks he, he even had going. Let's count the hooks. He want to go. I count to 13. How many did you guys count? Let me know that in the comment section. So Ryan is back at it. Ryan Garcia kicks the ish out of his security guard. My name is Boxing Ego, a.k.a. Ego, a.k.a. Big Money Ego. For more reviews like this and boxing content round the clock 24-7, hit the subscribe button. All of the support links are also in the description. So if you like the video, leave me a comment, put a like on the video, subscribe, 
the usual. Not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, kid. I was pretty impressive by Ryan Garcia. Now, I understand that training is training. I've seen Ryan do probably a million of these body shield challenges. But I will say it has been a while. Like, since losing to Gervonta Davis, I don't recall really seeing him have done this. You know? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, the last one I kind of remember was Francis Ngannou. Like, he was punching Francis Ngannou, who just recently lost to Anthony Joshua in a boxing match. You know? So, check out my post-fight videos and breakdown. Killer knockout from... Anthony Joshua meet with me again for boxing content like this and so much more subscribe to the channel that was pretty impressive by Ryan I'm not gonna lie however I will say this Ryan Garcia looks big Ryan has been doing a lot of let's say extracurricular things a lot of his posts almost have nothing to do with boxing now I'm happy to report that that actually he's wearing boxing gloves he's punching so that's at least a break from the norm of what he has been posted and posting on his page, which is good to see. But Devin Haney, like I've out of several posts in like Instagram lives and TikTok lives, Ryan Garcia has like two posts. One is a body shot challenge where no one, the person is not is smaller than you and not swinging back. You know what I mean? Nonetheless, I'm not taking anything away from Ryan. His hooks look very powerful. We knew that. We knew he had a lot of steam and snap, especially on his left hook. So that's good. And then the other was like a 10 second video hitting the heavy bag, and he was kind of doing the same thing. But the common denominator in both of these clips is there's inanimate objects, basically, not throwing back. Like someone just letting you slaughter their body with the body shield challenge. And a heavy bag. I would want to see, you know, just a little bit more. More running, more road work, sparring clips. Like, just so we know that you're really taking it serious. Because there has been an uptick and an influx of Ryan Garcia content. But, unfortunately, much of it has had very little to do with boxing. Like, he said he's going to save the kids. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going against um, somebody who wants to dedicate their fight to a good cause but just like aiden ross said like he said he's concerned with ryan's mental and him staying focused and i think it's safe to say we all are because ryan garcia has talent but he also has a very big fight devin haney he has a good situation with his pops bill haney where bill haney can almost be that megaphone and do post, promote the fight, talk up his son, and do that job while Devin Haney is at the beach running and hopping and, you know, at gyms, pulling weight, sparring, you know, doing these types of things. So that's a great dynamic. But Ryan, the problem with what he got going on is he himself has utilized social media Hold on, let me take these off. He's utilized social media in such a way that Ryan Garcia has made a lot of fame and probably a lot of money by capitalizing on social media. This is the time that we're in. People are paying attention. It's easier than ever to be seen. Like you could be, let's say, a singer and no one's ever heard of you and then you have a beautiful voice and then the, the clip goes viral. You might get a record deal just off that before people had to like live in New York and be a singer and perform in subways or uproot and then go to Hollywood or L.A. trying to get that acting or singing job. You know, it was just different. Now you could be working a regular job, post a video of you singing and having an incredible voice. If the right people see it, then they could reach out to you. So. We're in different times. And I think Ryan Garcia has capitalized on that in many ways. But then there's some ways where it it stifles him a bit because Ryan Garcia, he's having to wear all of the hats. Ryan Garcia is the product. He is the brand. He is the face of the brand. He's the one that has to do the training. He has to take the punches. 
He has to listen to his coach. And then he's also doing the entertainment stuff. And he's so young. Like you look at Floyd Mayweather. And I have a quote that pretty much went viral and become famous. And now you hear other people saying it. But it originally came from me on the channel. And I said, everybody wants to be money Mayweather. But they don't want to have to go through the pretty boy Floyd stages. So by the time people don't realize Floyd was like 30 or pushing 30 by the time he fought De La Hoya. Now with this new social media boom and social media generation, guys could be getting crazy bags and they haven't really done anything as boxer. Like Ryan legit has never been a champion in the sport of boxing, but based on his popularity, the tank fight made sense. The business made sense. The networks were involved and it did great numbers. So therefore he's made more money than people who have had multiple belts in multiple divisions and or champions like Shakur Stevenson. There's no way Shakur Stevenson, and I'm not saying this is a diss, it's a fact. There's no way he made more with top rank than Ryan Garcia did in that one Gervonta Davis fight, right? There's no Shakur fight and not just him, many others where in that singular fight, they netted because they said Ryan made like 40, 50 plus million, something like that with the, the buy rate that that did. So I just want to see Ryan do well and leverage that for good. Devin Haney is locked. Devin Haney is going to be like a machine. He's training. He's listening. He has a great team. He has money. He has resources. He don't have to do all this, like the body shot challenge and stuff like that. He's not he's not the he's not the showman type that's more more so his dad bill haney i would say but i just hope ryan is taking this serious because there's a lot of distracted content and this would technically fall under that even though it's still kind of boxing it's not this type of training or this type of video doesn't really prepare you for a fight because again Devin Haney's not going to sit there like a heavy bag or this security guard that you're bigger than and let you wail on him. He's a fighter. He's been a fighter. He's not going to just sit there and, and allow punishment. If you catch him and you sleep him or debilitate him, that's something different. But as long as he's conscious, he's not going to just sit there. That being said, Ryan Garcia does look strong. He does look powerful. My biggest concern is like a guy like Devin Haney, there's a lot of guys in boxing that are powerful. There's a lot of guys who have power. People almost overrate power because with power, that means you have to be able to facilitate and be effective and land said power. That's how that works. So it's not just a matter of, oh, I'm strong. I mean, who cares if you're strong, but you can't connect with the right shot. You know, the shots are blocked, partially blocked, missed completely or missing while punching the ropes, punching someone's arm instead of the intended target, their face or body or whatever you were aiming for. So Ryan's going to have to get this power off. Speed looks good. His power looks good, but it looked good before the Gervonta Davis fight when he was doing these. And then you got skunked. I had Ryan Garcia, no joke, losing every round versus Tank. The best round he had was the round he got dropped in. So automatically that was became a 10-8 round for Javante Davis. That was round two. He did pretty good. So the interesting thing about the Devin Haney fight, the conundrum is Devin doesn't have Javante Davis power. So Ryan does know Devin very well. And it will be interesting if he can close distance, cut off the ring, get past the jab and try to force a nasty rough kind of like robert guerrero versus andre Berto. make it a nasty mauling mugging smothering type of fight that would be interesting because he does have the power but again that's a lot of ifs you got to get past the jab you got to get Devin has way better footwork so you know hopefully ryan's taking it serious and not getting too distracted ryan says he knows about time travel and he could prove it he's talking about aliens check that video on the on the channel it's there subscribe for more boxing content ryan gotta be locked in but this was a cool video entertaining video let me know what you guys make of that video ryan garcia 
destroying his security guard. 